We are required again by law to establish our um, chain of custody procedures as far as ballot handling goes, both here as ballots come in uh, for vote by mail, as well as when um, on election night they're at the polling place. Um, and so for here um, and at the polling place, we have a strict policy and again by law, it, um, ballots are never to be left alone or even with one person, they must always be in dual custody at minimum. Even before we are allowed to accept a new voting um, machine or piece of equipment, it has to go through rigorous testing at the federal level and then again at the state level. So it's not a process of which we can just contact a vendor and say, hey, can you pull this off of the shelf and come deliver it to us? So the security has already been tested twice at the federal and at the state level long before it gets to us here um, to, be, to be utilized in our office we have to test every single one of those tabulators with every single one of those decks um, multiple times. This is the first of the testing of the systems. The second testing will come during the election, um, actually during the canvas when we're required to do the 1% manual tally. And so both of these um, tests of the system um, to ensure that it is recording the votes accurately is being done prior to votes being cast and then as the votes are being cast and counted. In the midst of the process of say a recount is if the requester of the recount has asked that we do it manually, um, we can compare the manual tallying of those votes for that contest against already what we have already done by running the um, ballots through the system and the, the voting system. And for the last two um, attempts at the recount, our manual tally had zero discrepancies against what the voting system had counted as well.